simple examples of these sort of column-like uh, lava rock formations on our way to and it was also shaped by the glacier as it receded. Right. And now we're driving through just beautiful uh, lava rocks. You can see some on sort of the left hand side ahead of us, will be right ahead of us very soon. You will see a lot. Nivat is, by the way, Iceland's fourth largest lake. It's uh, 37 uh, square kilometers, which is quite large, but it's not particularly deep compared to the other in Iceland. Although, actually, it's a very interesting uh, thing about this name that uh, about 2,500 years ago, when there was volcanic eruption below a lake, causing a gigantic explosion, leaving behind this massive crater. It's one kilometer in diameter, and you can also walk up it. It's a very popular uh, hiking path, and you can even see on the, the ridge of going up into this cave made of lava ah and here is Santa Poof. and Santa Claus exists oh there are his sneakers Yule Lads uh-huh Now, very cool. Training. That's good. That's good. It's deep or not? Mm. Can I see it for
This is the lava formations of uh, the Nebergif, the dark cities. I know some of you uh, spotted some uh, trolls along the way. Uh, hope you got some good pictures of them also. But now we'll be moving on just to the last uh, attraction of this journey, which uh, in many ways is also a highlight. Because remember uh, when I was uh, speaking of uh, the area that we're exploring uh, being a sort of oasis, being, you know, unusually green, if you look at Iceland as a whole, which is quite barren and cold. Now we will be going to the end of this uh, oasis of sorts. Some of you uh, already noticed, I'm sure, that there is uh, steam coming from uh, a certain direction which is on the right side of us no. now. And there are brown mountains there also with the steam coming up. This is where we're headed. So once again, oh, you will notice how it. our environment will change. <coughs> very drastically so. So we will no longer see all of this green, we will no longer see vegetation, it will be very barren. Because we're moving on. So just as a warning and as a precaution that you uh, be very careful when we visit the mud pots in just a very short while. The plant is called Kropla, or power plant of Kropla, just like the volcano that sort of dominates. Remember how I was talking about Iceland being pulled apart by the tectonic plates? Now, there is no one place where you can say, here it is, here it is being pulled apart. But if I had to point one out to you, now it would be this where you can see it sort of being and what we've seen before. But also notice how silver was uh, mined, for example, to produce uh, gunpowder before. Now, I have to mention how...
But now we'll be driving back, uh, straight back actually, to Akureyri, where the harbour is. You will have no problems finding the harbour because we'll make sure to bring you from the exact same places we've been before, but more or less so. We will drive alongside the northern uh, side of Lake Luba. We will drive Uh, yes, very famous. There was also a little cave there with uh, proof of the existence of the Santa Clauses. Um, but uh, they are among the uh, better known mythological creatures in Iceland. And they are also uh, trolls. At least they are uh, sons of trolls. There's 13 of them. And it depends uh, a little bit on where you live. Or where you grow up, I should rather say, as, as a child, uh, where you believe the uh, the 13 Santa Clauses or the Yule lads uh, come from, right? If you grow up in the north, for example, it's very likely that you uh, learn that the uh, Yule lads live in Dimmuborgir, such as we saw uh, earlier. If you grow up in the capital region, it's very likely that you believe the uh, Yule lads live in the mountain called Asia, which is uh, towering over the uh, capital area. So it depends on your context. Now, the Yule lads, again, are, uh, technically speaking, they are trolls. 
Okay, because they are sons of trolls. And trolls are in the mythology. You know, they are uh, very large, very strong creatures. They are a bit on the slow side. You know, they are not the most uh, intelligent ones. But they are not necessarily uh, very evil. But there is one exception, and that is the mother of the Santa Clauses. More of that later. Their father is a very typical troll. He is not especially bright. Let's leave it at that. But the Santa Clauses, they were uh, tricksters. And that's also how they got their names. And the tradition is so. With a high uh, little presents for the kids. The kids put their shoes in their window, where the Santa Claus then, uh, or the Yule lad, I should rather say, leaves behind a little present. This is usually something that fits inside of a child's uh, shoe. They're very popular before were, for example, you know, playing cards, uh, candles, or uh, uh, mandarins, tangerines, things like that. Very simple, but also small gifts. Uh, nowadays, you can find, you know, uh, iPads and AirPods and stuff like that. It might seem that the sun is following us today. And just another tiny little uh, bonus. For and she said that they were uh, black elves living in this town. I always thought, as a kid, it sounded really awesome. Uh, I had no idea what it meant, but. It uh, sounded very, really, you know, mythical, uh, kind of cool. And we have water between us and the city now because there was no space and there's no space at the harbor floor and which is very slowly but surely filling up the fjord and if you look towards the right now you can see these little islets you can see also that the in the fjord you can see the accredit airport here towards the left hand side Even and accurately, and some with uh, the Netherlands. The most common way of entering the country. Uh, the second one, second most common way of entering would be such as you all have done 